my people. It's your buddy Tack. Back with Miss Tack. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Now, this was a special request from one of you guys. Let me look up the name, because I'm not good at this. His name is Outdoors ZYZ Replied. Tack. So, oh, here, read it. I'm not good at reading. My eyes are bad. I ain't got my glasses. Tack, so how does, how do you feel about Corona whole virus now? All well? I'm good here in Central Florida. Hope all is well with you and your family. Oh, thank you. All, all right. is well. He's got like some weird puppet thing going on. Hey, man, whatever floats your boat, lay boy. <laughs> all right. So, how we're holding up? What? It's been about a month, right? Um. So, my last day at work was March 21st. Today is April 21st. Boy, how do you even know that? I don't even remember when my last day was. It was whenever. It's kind of important. <laughs> Not like, for me. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before, so, <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah. sure with the rest of you, too. <laughs> well, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, she, now, Miss Tack made a statement about a week ago. She was saying how she misses her <laughs> co-workers. <laughs> I had to laugh because, to me, I'm like, yeah, no, I got one or two, maybe three, no, maybe four bros at work. But the rest, man, I don't give a beep. So I was like really, I was out there splitting wood the other day and I thought of her comment of her saying she misses her comrades and I just had to laugh. I don't see it, but. So, you know. but you also work in a different type of atmosphere than I do. Yeah. I work a for one. a car dealership that is the only dealership the owner owns. It's not like a massive franchise, this and that. I mean, we maybe have a total of 50 employees. But you're not working with a bunch of libs either, so. No, actually, I work Your with a, probably a lot. lot of right right wing conservatives. All <laughs> um, right. You know, Love America. Gun towing, North Country. <laughs> yeah. My job's the total opposite. City slickers, losers. I'm sorry, for the most part. <laughs> So how are you holding up, Miss Tack, through this coronavirus? Me? Uh, how are you holding up? Not me, you. Me? I'm okay. It's an adjustment working from home. <laughs> you Do you would like say, it or not like it? Um, I kind of like it. Dude, I love this shit. <laughs> Am I in heaven? Did I die already? Am I in heaven? No humans? This is the fucking best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I am sorry. You are I mean, antisocial, though. I am more of a social person than you. So for me, it's a tiny bit blah, but... I thought I loved humans. No. That's a fucking lie. I fucking hate <laughs> humans. This is heaven. This is retirement. I'm sorry. Man, I, I don't want to be mean or nothing, <laughs> but this is great. I love this. I got to go to work once or twice a week for a couple hours, which really sucks. I hate going there. It's like looking at a prison because it does look like a prison. But anyways, but I love this. We're lucky to still have our jobs. Oh yeah, for sure. Making we're both money still, still working. It's good stuff. Uh, I am since last week work from home three days a week, and I go in two days a week. Um, but other than that, it's been home. So now, do you think the corona is real? A lot of people say that to me. Tack, this shit ain't real. This ain't real. What are you tripping? I don't know. Is it or isn't it? I don't think so. And I think, think it it's. Is. I'm not sure. It might Propaganda, be real. Blown out of proportion. Kind of. Yeah. I'm not a hundred percent that this is. I'm not sure either. And I'm not discounting the people that have gotten it in whatever or anything like if that. I mean, I don't really know. I mean, we keep to ourselves. Yeah. So for me, it just doesn't seem. I don't know. I supposedly I met one person that actually got it. I haven't talked to him since. And who would want to, right? If you got the corona. But supposedly one service guy that comes to my work, supposedly guy. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but... I don't know anybody. No. Nobody. Not a single person that I actually know. So what do you think about the future? If, if this is real, how does this change your outlook on life and your priorities or, and or does it not change it? For me? For you, uh, for you personally. Yeah, it does make you kind of realize what your real priorities are. and. What are your real priorities now? Family. 
Which yeah. is you. <laughs> For the, I mean, I, my regular family too, but it's, I spend more time with you. I think it'll be weird now that we spend so much time together a month. And honestly, we haven't tried to kill each other, which is kind of surprising because I'm a bitch and he can be mean. <laughs> Who, me? I am the sweetest guy going. You no. know that shit. My no. people can vouch for it. They know me. But, I mean, honest too, though, I think, you know, being together, <laughs> as long as we have, yeah. it's kind of like, Whatever. we're used to each other. Whatever. How about how are you guys doing with your spouses? You trying to kill each other yet? You getting along? You want to smack the shit out of your kids? He wants to smack the shit out of me. <laughs> well, always. That just goes without saying. But that's not illegal, so I'm not allowed to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks for <laughs> What's your next question? Uh, do you think we should prep more? Wholeheartedly. I think... We started to at one point, we kind of let it go because, you know, the stuff Life. downstairs, you know, if you're not conscientious and you're not constantly checking dates and rotating stock, prepping is useless unless you're spending buttloads of money on that re crazy, ridiculous, dehydrated food. Buttloads. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. And how fast shit ran out, like... That was kind of crazy. TP and stuff and food. Which technically we got super lucky because we, that is one thing I usually keep like good three packages of toilet paper or paper towels on hand at any given time. That's just how we buy. We use one, I buy another one, I, we usually have three packages of it at a time. Mm -hmm. But it's, we definitely should prep more. We have a couple months worth or we had. I thought we were good for most stuff we are. Long-term stuff like this, nobody's ready for a virus or a whatever. So you really do need a year or two years, something. You need some stuff. And this showed me that I'm not ready. So I think we have to work harder at prepping. Like you said, we started, we kind of slacked off. Oh, we're good enough. No, we're not. We're not good enough. Have we been holding up? Hell yeah. Have we been happy? Oh, yeah. Like I said, I've been Honestly. so yeah. happy. I've been home all, almost every day, working at home, taking care of business. And to me, I felt like I died and went to heaven. So. Uh, the cool thing is he helps out so much more with chores. Yeah. And that's bullshit. I've been doing like, dishes a lot do more. It's bullshit, man. You know whose <laughs> job that is. Oh, shit. I don't like doing dishes. <laughs> Fuck. But, yeah, no, I, I'm not lazy, so I help out. When I can, and well, some people are lazy, you know. But yeah, hey, I'm actually you know, you still. Do? I'm working full time still, like a full forty hours. That's true, but you still need to, you know. Anyway, sad note. <laughs> She's read the comments on the one video I said about her carrying her pistol more. Hey, Miss Tack, you got your pistol right now? No, I don't. Nope. She don't. She still hasn't learned, guys. <laughs> she had it the other day, which was cute, and she actually surprised me. Exactly. I was like, oh, surprise! She didn't have no bullets in the gun, but she had the gun <laughs> until I loaded it for. Her. But hey, I guess that's a step. But you definitely got to start carrying well, more. Well, I You're actually home. went to work today, and I wearing women's dress pants do not have belt loops, which is stupid. It. Just that's why you got to buy different clothes. I can't conceal carry because I don't have my permit, so no, that's out. No, but when you're home, you should still have... Yeah, no, I didn't change when I got home, though. I First thing I used to do when I only had a permit, first thing if, I do is grab my gun. <laughs> now that I have concealed carry, I never not have a gun. If I'm changing, I'm changing into PJs. Uh, these <laughs> young people, they're terrible. You tell them. Tell America. Them. <laughs> so how do you feel about wearing a mask? She's got this mask right here. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Tax always had a mask. This shit ain't new to Tax. This is just, it, this is easier to breathe compared to one of them, like, actual ones. And honestly, I guess I kind of don't see the point. If it's airborne, it's airborne. I mean, obviously, if you're coughing or whatever, don't fucking cough on me. Whoa, you know, common. You sorry, common. What about social distancing? What do you think about that? I like that. We should keep that Forever. Forever. Yep. Forever. Unless you know she's got nice big taters. <laughs> then you can lean on me. Oh, rap. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Get 
But Excuse dudes, me. <laughs> step off, dudes. But yeah, chicks, it's okay. Dude, it's honestly, okay. in the grocery store, it's one of the biggest things I hate is having somebody stand right next. Like, bro, I don't want to feel the you. Other day. Breathe on me. We're we were at so this kid with funny hair. It's one of those kind of kids. <laughs> Stop. Oh, I'm not but supposed to yeah. Say that, but. Anyway, they were out there. Um, <laughs> hey. And we're standing in line. The kids in line. I'm standing in front of a hot food thing because we're all social distancing and he's like all up in my personal space. I actually had to turn my back to the dude, get in tech space because I was like, yo, I'm uncomfortable because social distancing, back the fuck up, like respect. Especially I even, those kinds of people. I didn't like that before no, and either. it always happened at a grocery store or something. You got somebody right behind you and you can feel them breathing on you and you're like, ugh. Like I said, unless it's got a big <laughs> set of something, that's fine. But if not, Don't breathe on me. fuck off me. Yeah. If I can feel your breath, you're too fucking close. Well, that's it. No, nobody wants to smell that shit. <laughs> but yeah, the social distancing is cool. I like that. I the wearing thing. mask things, it's a pain in the butt. You can't breathe. No, some Dude, of them. Dude, it's like hot, and then I'm sweating, and that's just, nobody yeah. likes that. Right. But in the end, we're holding up very well. I'm happy as hell. She's kind of happy, I guess, I don't know. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. I am. I'm, I'm ecstatic about this. I wish it would never end. But <laughs> as long as I still keep making money. But I hope all you guys are doing well. I hope you're holding up. I hope your supplies don't run out. Uh, I hope you don't have to kill your spouse or your kids or anything. I hope all that don't goes well. Don't even say well. that. <laughs> like, knock on wood. You put that oh, yeah. even in the universe. I'm not coming for you guys. Dude, this whole house is wood. Anyways, yeah, go out and have fun with your family. Go out and do a hike. Go do some camping. Well, how many times have we been outside? We're outside actually. Yeah, I'm quite outside a bit. every freaking day if I can. Besides, the weather's been shitty. But, anyways, just keep your head up. Be happy. Don't kill your spouse. Oh, you said that twice. I say stuff multiple times because I drink <laughs> a lot of beer. Anyways, hope you guys are all doing good. And until the next time we meet. Bye. Bye.